Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday. I've got my thumb tape on because we're doing some lifting. I've just got down to CrossFit Bounce. They're in a rundle on the Gold Coast, um, way up the north end um, in a bit of an industrial lot. Really tidy looking gym. I've just walked in and met Regan, the owner, and a couple of the other members went and said, hey, um, we're gonna jump straight in. I've had a huge morning coaching for pretty well five hours straight, jumping in the car, um, two and a half hours straight down to the Gold Coast. Um, so we're gonna get straight into the session. Uh, show you around and check out CrossFit Bounce. Really cool looking gym, so I'm pretty excited. So this time I'm going to sit into a full squat before standing up and reaching the next rep. So still getting tall, and then quickly moving to the bottom of my squat. So snatch triples, we're going to build to a moderate three. Um, so this is part of their training block. We're not going so heavy that we're having any misses or anything. Build to a moderate three squat snatch. We are in the middle of the snatching. It's actually full house in the gym this afternoon. Reagan said there might have been a few that pulled out, but there's literally not enough room for people to snatch. So this is good, it's busy as. Sometimes on a Friday afternoon, people prefer to get out, start their weekend early, but having a full house in here, lifting is awesome. Um, get a chance to try out. Oh. The Reebok X1s. Um, we, Mel and I, we bought a pair last week, and they came this this week. Um, so this is my first chance to lift in them and work out in them. So so far, I'm up to 80 kilo triples for my snatch. So and they're holding up well. They're stable. My first impression was I loved the uh, the last model, the Nano Xs, a lot better. But these are holding up really well. We've got a dumbbell complex workout coming up, so we'll see how they hold up for the Metcon. But for the lifting so far. Pretty good. Workout's gonna be on the screen, but what we've got is a dumbbell complex. Um, one rep equals one dumbbell power snatch plus a push press. We're gonna do 60 reps all up, so it's 30 reps on each arm. We're gonna go open style, so we've just all partnered up. I've got Ricky, wave to the camera, Ricky. There we go. I'm gonna count for him. I'm not gonna no, no rep or anything, but I'm gonna count him. He's gonna do the whole wad, and I'm gonna go. So it's looking pretty brutal, probably four or five minutes, I'm guessing.
gym because I got another session going on and Regan is going to get back in and help coach so I'm just going to ask him a few quick questions about his gym, about your gym Regan um, just to get to know you a bit better get to know your story a bit so first of all um, how did you go through COVID how did that all go uh, I'm not gonna lie it was the most stressful few months of my life yeah um, yeah and obviously cut back our membership a lot and you know I think the stress of not knowing um, when we would reopen and stuff like that was pretty tough. Those first couple of weeks was brutal, like just emails every day, yep. cancellations and stuff. So, uh, like most gyms, we reverted to kind of a bit of an online presence and tried to do what we could to provide a bit of a service for people. But, um, yeah, no, it's not easy when your number one service is brick and mortar yep. in that location. Yep. So, yeah. Pretty Got happy, there though. Pretty happy on um, the 11th of July or whatever it was. When, yeah, whatever, yeah. The, the rush to... notice is like, oh, you can open tomorrow, and it's like, you had oh. none, did you have any of your gear in there? Nah, no. Nah, well, yeah. that was it. We lent out all our gear to everyone, so pretty much the only thing left in the, the gym was the rig bolted to the wall. Mm. So uh, we didn't open until the Wednesday uh, morning. So we kind of did a little bit of uh, reno to lecture things, yeah. and um, yeah, finally got back open, which was good. And we're still here, so. Yeah, so man. Yeah. I'm, yeah, like I'm so grateful for the like the members that did stick around. A yeah. lot of them, you know, they wanted to be back in the gym, and you know, obviously, you know, CrossFit gym is more than just a normal gym. Like it's that community, and people wanted to be back in there and, and seeing each other. So I'm, I'm yeah, super grateful always for that yeah. for those guys. So. How long's Bounce been around? Uh, we're coming up to seven years uh, in June, end of June this year. Yeah. So uh, crazy to think about that number, but. Um, Time flies when and you, Bounce has been new the whole time? You started Bounce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I opened it back in our old location. Which was where? Um, Ashmore. In Ashmore, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, probably about two thirds, or maybe even half the size of the gym we're in now. So it was a little startup. I mean, I moved to the Gold Coast from Brisbane and didn't know anyone here. So it was kind of like, you know, started with nothing Straight on day in one. Deep so, end. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Out of those seven years, you don't, you don't have to pinpoint one if you've got a few. Do you have any most proud moments or any any moments through that that really stick out that you're really happy with? Yeah. Any um, big achievements, like moving to a big facility is, is pretty cool. Yeah, I think, I think this is one of the things you forget sometimes as the owner to look back and you know see the like, things have changed. You know, when, you, when I first opened, I wasn't earning any money. Like Everything went back into building the gym and you know, paying for bills, so, you know, to get the point where you're earning a wage, you know, things like that. Definitely moving to our new location a few years ago, and, you know, if you saw our old one, this is, you know, a thousand times better and yeah. just better equipped, so, you know, those things, but I think, you know, surviving that COVID thing is, um, you know, something I probably won't ever forget, like, that was a tough thing, and I'm proud of myself and, you know, our staff that stuck it out and, and got us back in there, so definitely that last six months as well, building back into it, so, yep. yeah. Um, where did the name Bounce come from? Man, this is gonna be a really 
Not inspiring story. Nah. It's so, just a good name. It's just a good. Yeah. The word did come from. So I there was a couple of names that I did want previous to bounce, but you know, with the CrossFit affiliate system, you can't have a name that's too similar to other things. So. Um, you know, Bounce was one of the ones that I had on my list and it was the first one I um, put into CrossFit HQ that said yes. And Bounce for me was just like a, it sounded happy and like a just an enjoyable place to be like Bounce, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of where that came from. It, I wanted it to be somewhere people felt comfortable coming and you know, rather than having some crazy like, um, you know, barbell or something. Or it kind something. Of Even though I love a barbell, but I, I know that that can be intimidating. It kind of is just a normal work, but it did stand out when I'm going through fit, like gym names yeah. and stuff. It kind of does stand out for whatever, yeah. whatever reason it is, I don't know, but Bounce, it does, it's a nice little name. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Um, and you've got a bit of a weightlifting background, so we've got a bit of a bit of a weightlifting club inside, but you've started with a lot of that and taken a bit of a step away? or Yeah, so uh, I guess when I opened my CrossFit affiliate, I was weightlifting full-time as a sport. Um, so very passionate about it. Um, How far did you go with that? Um, I've competed at nationals a few times, came yeah. third, I think, three years in a row. So I was, you know, okay at weightlifting. <laughs> I've coached, um, you know, my wife to Commonwealth Games, the other young wow. fella in there yeah. to a couple of world championships as a youth and stuff. Yeah. So um, I really do enjoy it. It's a passionate thing for me. But the time, you know, now that I've got a young family, it's kind of, you know, trying to weigh that up, so I've cut it back to just a few, um, you know, weightlifters that I know are passionate about it, and, and I still do that on the side, but, um, yeah, like you said, I've kind of toned that back and just really pushing the CrossFit thing, you know, I believe in it, I do that now, and I yeah. love it, so, yeah. you know, that's what, what we try and do. Well, I'll let you get back into the class uh, and, and the guys inside. Thanks for having me. No uh, worries, I only mate. gave you a few days' notice, but thanks for having All me. Good, man, too. Uh, that's sort of it is. Bounce is one of the only sort of CrossFit gyms in a little bit of a pocket down in this part of the coast. I mean, yeah. there's a few there's a few scattered around, but if you're in the area, come down and check it out. Um, thanks for having me again. You guys, make sure, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, but make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to put links for CrossFit Bounce down in the description, that sort of thing, if you want to get in contact, um, my pages, all that sort of thing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the gym. Peace.